Morgan with some brilliant shots. This was at the fourth for birdie. Tough par for Dublin right around the corner. Give you plenty of birdie opportunities today. To the par three eighth where we find Lynn Grant and we hear from Karen Stupples. Well, she did hit a lovely little short iron in there, but couldn't capitalize on that one. She got Megan Kang, a pair of 66s. Players taking it deep here as we go to 15. This is Danielle Kang for her birdie putt. Back hole location today. Oh, well done. Greens yesterday. So her ball striking certainly on point. Treat just left of the flag six, a great target. And she's making a little bit of a comeback today, Paige, after a couple over par round yesterday. Much more pleasant conditions out here today, though, for the players. And for you. She's found a way to get it online. What a shot. And... The 16th, we'll watch Danielle Kang with her top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Back left hole location today. A very accessible pin. There may be a few pro-am divots out here, but none from the other players. I'd say that's the only danger. This one is back up the hill. I mean, just a, a great effort from that bunker to even have a chance, but I'm sure she'd be pretty happy with with the par. Yeah, it's not often on this golf course if you miss the fairway that you'll have a good look at birdie. Right. So far this week, had eight birdies yesterday, two so far today. Oh, that is so rude. Putter didn't cooperate. Nine. And Lynn Grant for birdie. A nice opportunity here uphill. Oh. I was in a couple vicious lip outs already early in our coverage. Wow, that looked like that was almost entirely in the hole. Over three so far, but maybe Rose Zhang can get one to go. Well, shortest distance off the tee, closest to the hole. It pays off. Oh, there we go. Danielle Kang at the 16th, just to get to nine under. This has got to encourage Stacey Lewis and you, the assistant captains, with Angela Stanford and Natalie Golbus watching Danielle play well. Definitely, Danielle has her friends, new caddy on the bag. This is Olivia Cowan. And a couple good weeks on the LPGA Tour to reshuffle, get in this field. Full location today on this 13th hole is in the front. Pretty accessible for the players. Yeah, nice. Not very much, but there's a, just a little bit there. She doesn't always wait for the green to clear, Karen. Yes. No, this is true. Oh, this is a high draw. Really lovely strike. Oh, what a shot. Third shot of the 10th for Charlie Hall. Only has 36 yards from a fairly sort of decent lie here. Oh, she sent that high in the air. A role model in all manner of ways, including her speed of play and the way she strikes the ball. Morgan, you referenced it earlier. She did hit into the green at the Highland Meadows there in Toledo to finish off that victory. I asked her caddy might be about it. He said she didn't think she could get there. Yeah. I think she was just really fired up. You think and so? To the 18 hole leader, Perrine Delacour. Yeah. Yes. Another birdie. I mean, from the short distance, getting the ball to go that high up in the air and easy birdie. She moves it to nine under par with Megan Kang. 11th, even though it is a relatively short hole. Hole location eight paces over the bunker on the left. That is a very 
good play. Bring it in from the top side. Don't mess with anything short. Gabriella Finn hit a great short iron in. Has birdie putt now. Well done. It's not a difficult hole when you put yourself in position. It's, it really truly is. The amount of spin she puts on this. I think she needs to land this past the flag stick. Well, the green slopes that way too, doesn't it? Back to front. Just left. But just fine. An awkward two page. There's a little shoulder from the bunker that you're going to have to negotiate. Good speed. It is a pretty steep hill. And at the fourth, it's where we find France's Perrine Delacour. Third shot at the par four. Up base wide open, just sliding it right under the ball. Good roll. start to this event for Perrine Delacour. How about the start for Ali Ewing Page? Uh, it's been incredible. Uh, we've talked about how the front nine, it plays a little bit easier than the back nine, but I don't know if we've seen anybody. We're at the fourth and Perrine Delacour, this for par. Uh, keeps that bogey free streak alive this week. Gabby then. Morgan, we see this every year. Someone late in the season. Daniela Darkea last year did it right here with a second place finish. Maybe Gabby then could move inside that top 100. I need to check your Twitter feed. She probably knows where she stands and I, what she needs to do. I have room for followers now that uh, Andrea's unfollowed. Well, look at that. I.K. Kim. Karen, I feel like we saw her take a little bit longer to pull the trigger. On Sundays, on Sunday at Pebble Beach, on Sunday at the AIG Women's Open, but now she's doing it on Friday. Something to yeah. pay attention to. And now she can run this one up the green quite nicely and not have to worry about the spin. I always like this play. Obviously, she's got the length, but send it as far as you can on a par five. I just still think planning is, is not really your strong point when you have ADHD and it's good that she has a caddy that does it for her. That takes her to 10 under. And Lynn Grant. Much more straightforward from here, but back uphill at the hole. Hmm. Never quite had it on the right line. See, players struggle to read that putt page. It's, it's quite flat. Back at the 12th, the third for Lydia Ko. Yeah, Lydia needs to get something going here. Needs to make three or four birdies on this back nine. Oh! Yeah, this, this might be a good start. This would be a good one to make, though, just to keep pace. Ooh. Ooh. Just enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, certainly when you're standing on a steep slope, your feet are telling you how fast it's going to be, but... If you're aware of Google, you can check it out and see what she shot. No reason to revisit. Lean de la Cour, tied for the lead at the sixth. And maybe not for long. Ooh, this is getting better. Began the year number one in the world. She's now down to sixth. If she can get this to spin. I feel like her trouble pulling the trigger is just being uncomfortable with something. Just not something mentally that's saying I'm not quite ready. Oh, this is going to get even better. Zhang is going to have that for a much needed birdie. You know, for, for years you kind of think of yourself as being 
you know, silly or, or stupid and you, you make funny decisions and all of a sudden you understand now why. It's just the way you're made up. But it is Delacour on top as she plays seven. Just off the fairway on the right, though, she should have the distance to reach this green in two. And does. And in good position, another good look. And Nelly Corda tied for 15th as she plays her second at 14. After 285-yard drive, just a little lob wedge in. Three really nice wedges out of this group. With Nellie's being the best. She's only got four paces behind it, so has to be aware of spin control. Come down off that back end. She took it five behind it, but that was just fine to get the spin off of the fringe. Lots of green to use here. All right, Nelly for birdie at 14. Keeps a little closer. Green Delacour setting the pace. As you see it, 14 under. This is Allie Ewing at the par 5 12th. Great front nine for Allie. Shot 30 on the front. She's going to be on her third straight. Solheim Cup team, a captain selection. Stacy said you can put it with just about anybody. Yeah, she's very easy to pair up both in game and in personality. Area out here this week as we peek at Charlie Hole now on the green. It's one of the initiatives that the Portland Classic has put on is there's a par three golf course here on property at Columbia Edgewater and they have a lot of activities for kids and families to come out and enjoy this weekend. Check in with Lynn, Lynn Grant to see if she can save bogey. Yeah, not a huge amount in this pub. That's disappointing. The leader, Perrine Delacour, for another birdie at the 8th, her 17th of the day, and Kate Cockrell has caught up with her. Yeah, a really good opportunity here. I'm sure that hole looks so big to her right now. Allie Ewing now on the 13th. Six under on her day so far. That looks really good to add another. See all the six of those birdies came on the front side, got off to a very hot start. Awkward from the fringe, it's gonna break right pretty quickly. Go, go. Oh, there you go. A bounce back. I think this is pretty straightforward. Doesn't see it doing very much from here. One of the big stars this year, and so has this young woman from China, Roning Yin. Just 20 years old. This was a moment ago, her second at 14. She is creeping closer, not only to the hole here, but maybe to being number one in the world. When she came back last year after mm. the injury and yeah. finished top 10 at the Women's Open, that yeah. was a magnificent feat. This is our leader, Perrine Delacour, on the ninth. Yeah, that was a, a decent shot after a long drive, Paige, uh, just a shortish iron in. What a lucky young fan. Yeah. She might not want to wash that hand. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Allie Ewing gets her first birdie of the back nine, her seventh of the day. Like Par five. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're naming a lot of holes it's there. Just, says, says the player who went Eagle Albatross to start the final round of the AIG Women's Open. There's methods of my madness. Good shot from Charlie. That lie was a little bit low shape. Used to in a new habit. Of, instead of just whipping the putter out. Better angle for Lynn Grant. And 128 and a wedge for her. Well, that'll get to the correct tier. See, I mean, that is kind of fun. Get a play away. 
you sort of forget about all the other stuff that you've gone through. Like trying to make cuts. Oh, oh my oh. God. It's almost like she's just building momentum with every step of the way. Without question. I mentioned earlier she had a fourth place finish at this event. It was actually not at this golf course. It had moved to Oregon Golf Club back in 2021. So a little disappointment for her to come back to Columbia Edgewater where she hadn't been as successful, but certainly no disappointment through the first 36 for Perrine. This is Lynn Grant now for her birdie. It's uphill and I think it's gonna move to the right as it gets to the hole. Oh, it didn't. It's a little a bit tricky on that shelf. Just a par to stay two back. Be, you, ha, you feel such a tie to your scores, everything that you post, that's what's public, that's what everybody sees and everybody out here, there's so much more than just golfers, there's so much more than birdies and bogeys and uh, Kareem just so eloquently expressed that. Those five hours inside the ropes, kind of like what Stacy has talked about a little bit this week, are, are a sense of peace and freedom. You know what to expect. You know uh, the routine of what's going to happen that day and, and an opportunity to clear your mind. Of course, that is only from 92 yards. Just a sound wedge can drive this one in there. Love how she plays those wedges. She drives them. Oh, nearly drove it in. The one thing I do know, Grant, is that when a player gets inside the ropes, the desire to compete can take over. Look out for Lynn. In the hunt again. At the 18th. She'll be dangerous the weekend, don't you think? Yeah, as Paige mentioned earlier, so for some reason she said this course doesn't suit her eye. She's only played this golf course in two other occasions. Was maybe just what she needed. That injury, looking back in hindsight, mm. was if she hadn't had that injury, who knows what, how her putting would have progressed and her confidence in her short game, I should say. Way below her standards. Allie Ewing coming back for par. Allie Ewing. It's on a great stretch of golf. See if she can get another one. That's always fun, Paige, when... And this will be very delicate. It's going to be moving hard from her right to left down towards this hole. Oh, really nicely judged. Even out of that thick lie, there was a ton of grass in that area. I just want to know what the Latin term. <laughs> this running in. Oh, got away quickly. Talked about the synergy between Ali Ewing and Ronin in between the two of them. 14 birdies mm. today. It's been an impressive display for Ronin and Ali. From Ali Ewing, from just off the green. This is all she has remaining to stay at 10 under. Well done. Great up and down. Probably a little more stress than she wanted on the 17th, but it keeps a very clean card. I've talked a lot about Andrea Lee and feeling relieved after Sunday and Monday. And missed getting your card by one. Got it last year at Q Series. Now a rookie. Ronin Yin finishing up. And Ronin is right there again. Come on. Keep coming. Sole possession of fourth. This would put her with her Solheim Cup teammate Megan Kang tomorrow. It is a big group there. Especially at Birkdale Sunday. Well, there you go. 
Roning in with a 64.